Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making avocado lemono, my favorite Greek chicken soup. So let's get started. This is a very special soup, and we're making it the right way from scratch. So we're gonna make the chicken stock first. Start off with one onion, peel it and give it a quarter. Everything is gonna go into a big pot. If you have a stock pot, you can use that. I'm using a Dutch oven. Let's plop things in as we go along. Three carrots, peeled and chopped. So, avocado lemono is like, it's my favorite soup. It's basically like Greek magical medicine. And think of it as a chicken soup that is lemony and creamy and amazing without the cream. So, the, it's a white soup, but the white comes from egg whites that we're gonna beat up and fold into the soup. It is amazing. And if you make any recipe from this channel, I hope it's this one. That was two stalks of celery chopped up. And now I want eight cloves of garlic, at least. I'm gonna peel them and give them a smash. The soup is a little dangerous, by the way, because once you make it, even though it makes a huge amount of soup, it's gonna be gone in a flash. And this magical recipe just so happens to be from the winter chapter of my cookbook. So if you have a copy, grab it and open up to page 127 so you can cook along with me. What would a chicken soup be without the chicken? One large whole chicken right in the pot. Bay leaves. One, these are like crazy bay leaves. They are so fragrant. It like knocks your sock off. <laughs> my one sock <laughs> knocks it off. So pop that in. If you have kind of like the dud normal bay leaves, I would add two or three. You want about 10 peppercorns. It's kind of up to taste, so I'm gonna have a little bit more in for some more spice. Don't tell the kids. <laughs> and two teaspoons of salt. We have the chicken, the onion, carrots, celery, garlic, peppercorns, oregano. I forgot that. Oopsie. Oregano is the Greek spice herb. It's in everything. All right, oregano, and now it's time to top this off with water. I want four quarts or 16 cups. So if you have a pot filler, now you get to show off. <laughs> Gosh, this pot's barely big enough. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna pop this over medium high heat. And this secret with a nice stock, besides good ingredients, is time. We need time for all these flavors to infuse. Pop this onto medium high heat, bring it to a boil, then reduce to medium low. And it's gonna simmer for 45 minutes or until the chicken's cooked through. If you've made stock before, you know there will be some foam. You will remove the foam and I will show you how. That is not part of your delicious chicken soup. This soup takes some time, but it's not a lot of work, if that makes sense, because it's just gonna be simmering away. You could putter around in the kitchen, do what you need to do, come back and check on it. Time will fly by, trust me. After a few minutes, my stocks come to a boil, so I'm gonna reduce to medium low now and just let it simmer away. Occasionally, you're going to just skim off some of this foam nonsense. You can have a foam bowl here just for the discards. And we'll be back when this is all cooked through. After this was done cooking, I just put this aside for a bit, had my lunch, and I'm coming back to it now. The nice thing is the chicken is cooled a bit, so we can remove it. Hmm, I don't want to drip. <laughs> that can hang out in a bowl for a few minutes. And now we want to get all of this precious liquid out without all the junk. So get a big bowl, and I sieve. You could also use a cheesecloth if you want. And without spilling a drop, we're gonna pop this all in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have never been more successful at anything. <laughs> Here we go. Return the stock back to your pot now. This is liquid gold. It's so much better, like so much better than a store-bought stock. I wish you could smell this. It's, it just has that wonderful like smell of the oregano and oh, it's good. Here's the deal. I don't normally show this on camera just because I'm like, uh, like, is this what you wanna see? <laughs> but I think it's important for the recipe because this is the part where you're putting the love into the soup. If you ever get soup, like chicken soup at a store or something like that, someone who loves you did not separate the chicken meat out, give you just the best pieces, break it into just the right sizes for you. It's like, not the same. So you're gonna break the chicken down remove all of the meat and separate out any of the stuff that people don't want to eat. 
and uh, we're gonna chop it up into small pieces. The nice thing is, because we boiled this and I let this sit for a while, it's just coming right off the bone. It's super easy. The important thing is just let the chicken rest for a while so it's cooler and easy to handle. I broke my chicken down. It's only the best meat left over. And now we're gonna return our pot to medium heat and stir in one cup of white long grain rice. That's gonna cook for about 20 minutes. Just give it an occasional stir, especially at the beginning. Now it's time to cut the meat up. I want smaller pieces that would fit on a spoon nicely. So just chop them up for the dark meat first, because that's already kind of been separated into small pieces. Small, but not so tiny, it'll just dissolve. And now for the breast. Actually, I'm doing it like my mom, where she would break it up into pieces. Oh, I didn't even tell you. So, avko lemino. Hmm. If you don't speak Greek, it's kind of an odd name, I suppose. But avko stands for egg. Lemino stands for lemon. So it's an egg lemon soup. But what you're having is like a wonderful sharp notes from the lemon, the oregano throughout. You have that rice to give you a little bit of a base and make this kind of more substantial with all the delicious chicken in this homemade broth. And the white isn't coming from cream or milk or any dairy. It's just coming from eggs. So we're going to do some egg magic in a little bit. You'll see, and it totally transforms the soup. And it's so like nutritious and it's warming. It's my favorite thing. I'm actually very excited because um, the kids are gonna have this for the first time in quite a while and I wanna see how they like it. My chicken's all done. The soup is simmering away. Just keep stirring occasionally. Right now we want four large eggs. We're gonna separate these out. So we have a big bowl and a small bowl. So we're gonna use the egg whites and whip those up. We want those in one larger bowl. The egg yolks are so delicious and you're not wasting anything in a Greek recipe. So that goes into a small bowl, they'll be used as well. Do try and be careful not to get yolks or shells in your egg whites. This is all in the clear. Okay, once about 20 minutes have passed and your rice is ready, we'll do the next step. Now we can take a break. You could do a dish or two, clean up your workspace, and we'll be right back. It's been about 20 minutes. My rice is nice and tender. This smells so good. I mean, I would eat this already. It's like a nice simple soup, but we're gonna add a lot of stuff to it. Starting off with all the delicious chicken. So add that right in. Now we're gonna whip these egg whites until they have nice firm peaks. So start low, work your way up. You'll be mixing this for about four minutes on medium-ish speed until you have like firmish soft peaks forming. If you want, you can definitely use a stand mixer for this. Just use the whisk attachments. So the cool part here is you're breaking these egg whites into like, you know, tiny pieces of foam. We'll mix the egg yolks in there and that gets folded into the soup. So the egg will cook, actually. That's like a nice softish stiff peak. Back to mixing, add the egg yolks in now. We're gonna mix those until they're just combined. Reduce the heat on your soup all the way down to low and we're gonna slowly add our egg mixture in while stirring constantly. There we go. Ooh, you can see it changes color right away. All those air bubbles heat up when they touch the soup and it's causing them to expand just like when you bake a cake basically. And trust the process. This is where I feel like people could panic and be like, oh my gosh, this is weird, but it'll work out. Eventually the egg will be incorporated, but it's gonna take some time. So it requires patience. And I will say that at the ready, I have two thirds of a cup of fresh lemon juice. Avoca lemono, where's the lemon? It's coming in soon. Once all of the eggs are added, we're gonna stir the lemon juice in. So let's take a little break from stirring. And let's add all of that in. Continue stirring. Everything's gonna be incorporated, but it just takes some time. So stir, 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 have faith and it'll work out. I'm also gonna stir in three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. There you go. And three quarters of a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. I just had a couple lumps of egg. So I'm just skimming the top with a whisk to mix them in. At this point, you wanna give the soup a taste. <laughs> I'm gonna add a pinch of salt more. New spoon, new taste. Oh my God, 
I actually like to squeeze a little final blessing of lemon juice right on top. I cannot get enough. Mix that in and that is just perfection. So good. It is so delicious with the lemon, the chicken, all that little kiss of oregano, the homemade stock. It all comes together in this symphony of flavors. I hope you get a chance to try this recipe from my book. And if you like this video, check out my soup playlist.